Why won't they speak to me? said Weepy. But they did speak to you. That's how they speak through others. They spoke to me, answered Space Chimp. They used to speak directly to me. We should go and see the whispering butterflies about the missing shadow gleam. Everything you need to know is deep in the catacombs on planet Dusto. What about this tunnel? No. No. This looks more like it. You, you cannot, cannot go, go any further. Beyond, beyond is the, the Weeping Child's laboratory. Who is the Who? Weeping Child? Who is the weeping child? asked Space Jim. You must go deeper into the catacombs. So can you use your cube to directly transact simulators deep into the catacombs, Clone Chimp? But it's everywhere. What was that? It was like a nothing. At least we know the weeping child now. Again? We sipped too much. We're sorry. From the rabbit, we didn't mean to. And from the void, we left wrenched the nothing so we be can create little pockets of nothing and hide in them. Go deeper. So I'm sort of related to space sort of royalty then. Well, I must say this is all very fascinating. You say some mythical insects drank too much of my existence. Ha <laughs> ha, really? This is totally absurd. Wait, I just prescribed the nanobots in my body to reconstitute my eyes so I can see the last light in existence, said Dr. Phenomena. The weeping child is resting now. Weepy had absolutely no memory. When they first came to our planet, we recognized the nothing self. And we filled Weepy with so much information. The weeping child created a vast cosmic conundrum that we used to fill the void in the rabbit. 
So you eat information? said Dr. Phenomena. We exist in relationship with the universes, farming the information. The universes are created bit by bit by relationships, relationships of all kinds. So which cosmic conundrum is it? said Space Chimp. The primordial circuitry, or the two-dimension man on the red planet? We must go back to him to find out. It should be testable, said Dr. Phenomena. I want answers. I'm sick of this plodding mystery, said Space Chimp. Which cosmic conundrum is it? We do not know. A pocket of nothing around the phenomena. What's in the kiss kiss letter from the 2D man? said Space Chimp. It is a map of the void. It is for his husbands and wife. He hopes one day, once it is completed, that they will come and find him. Why did Earth Chimp save me from the path of the lost? Driven insane by the shadow glee, he wanted to create a perfect chimp entity. He was the last of the Earth Chimps. Where is the last shadow gleam? asked Space Gibbon. There were only sixty shadow gleams. Is there anything else you want to know? Yes, what's in a black hole? A black hole is where gravity goes to die. It is not strong enough yet. As like kindness, it is the most recent of fundamental forces. Uh, okay. What's the meaning of life? Oh, that's just something and nothing. The two exist in a quantum simultaneously. Free will is a gift from within the something. Contains the information for an ultimate consciousness. Made possible in a clockwork universe. By the something of randomness. Brought about by the randoms that burst in and out of existence. It's all in the information of possibilities. But surely no one truly chooses anything. We're all creations of circumstance. Environment and genetics or programming. So you should all try and be more than yourself. Thanks to relativity, a chance is provided. Even the most minute act of true kindness can save a whole universe. So no more great mysteries from now on. We are sorry. This is where our talents lie. We are sorry, it is all we are capable of. Why is it you and I remember the missing Shadow Gleam, Space Chimp? I don't know, but there's something Clone Chimp and I need to do. Wait, where are you going? Why were you firing at us? asked Space Chimp. That's just my light show. I was saying hello. <coughs> I do apologise. Something rather unpleasant was just thrown down my reactor shaft. You're not going to explode, are you? Well, I do now feel a little murmuring in my reactor core.
Weepy, why did you try to create a pocket of nothing around the cosmic conundrum? You know, they say reality begins at the best point between light and dark that still allows for free will. You know, I'm not sure if all of Weepy came back from the nothing, said Space Chimp. You seem better, said Clone Chimp. I acknowledge the thoughts and how I feel, rethink the thought in a more positive way and allow it to move on. Oh, I forgot. I have arms and legs, said the TV Queen. It's emitting a beacon. Starpod's translating it. I hope it's not dangerous. It's directing us to some coordinates. It's a constellation witch riding on a cabbage fork broomstick, said Space Jump. Like the witch Raz of Bagrot? No, not Halloween. This is ancient human culture. They were early human community matriarchs, answered Space Chimp. 